everyone, my name is Gilberto and we are back again with another battle spot session and I am here with a mono poison team. Now, I don't know if you guys know, poison is my favorite type. Uh, I get asked sometimes, if I was a gym leader, what type would I pick? And my answer is always poison. I love poison types. Uh, poison is the most diverse mons and mons that I absolutely adore and this is a team that I really want to make work for obvious reasons. Um, but anyway, before I take up too much time, Here's a Mawile Bisharp, uh, Breloom, Hydreigon, Samurott, and Garchomp. Okay. Okay. So, first thought is Weezing has to come for the Garchomp. Weezing has to come for the Garchomp. Uh, what else? Oh, Toxicroak can also come for the Garchomp. It's a Scarfed Toxicroak. Scarfed Adamant Max Attack. Uh, so unless that, that 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 thing is scarfed, then I should be able to get a nice punch off and deal with it. Uh, I feel like I need Crobat for the Heat Wave, because I feel like you're just going to bring both of your Steel types, and I need to get a Nasty Plot up, get a Heat Wave up. And then other than that, what do I do? I feel like I should just lead Nidoking. Hope that you don't lead uh, Garchomp. Yeah, you're going to bring Garchomp, Mawile, Bisharp, I imagine. Uh, so I just I'm just going to lead Nidoking. Bring Toxicroak, bring Crobat. That seems about right to me. Part of me wants to lead Cro uh, Toxicroak, but getting, but surprising that that Garchomp with the Scarf is so essential that if he leads with one of those two Steel types, then I'm just gonna be stuck uh, with a Scarf going for an Earthquake, and that could be dangerous for me. It could end poorly for me especially if he just gets sucker punches off because a mega mawile even hitting me with a resisted sucker punch will kind of hurt uh so i'm just gonna lead with the nita king it is named shady king uh it is shiny and here we are against the hydreigon so hydreigon may or may not have earth power uh, I kind of doubt it, but it is it definitely a possibility. I will show off my set really quickly. Earth Power, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. I mean, you guys can pretty much tell what these are for. Thunderbolt is in case of Talonflame. Ice Beam is in case of, of Dragonites or, or Dragon types in general. Flamethrower is for Ferrothorns and, and um, Fortresses. And Earth Power is in case I get stuck against the Steel type. Uh, that I can't flamethrower, i.e. Heatran. So, uh, nothing to it but just to go for an Ice Beam. I am kind of surprised that you don't just bring your Steel types full stop. He does have the Earth Power, he does go first. I feel like I take it, we do take it, just barely. And I do hit him with a Sheer Force Life Orb Ice Beam. And I feel like that takes you out, it doesn't take you out. Okay. Okay. Uh, now is it worth swapping? I could swap in a Crobat, maybe. What do you do in response if I swap in a Crobat? Do you just go for a Draco? What? Uh, do you go for Dragon or uh, Dark Pulses or Dragon Pulse? I mean, Nidoking can all can always be great for a pivot, especially with with Toxic Crow being scarfed the way it is. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna swap into the Crobat, and I feel like I feel like Crobat is has enough bulk to take. A hit, and that's and that's all assuming that you goes. Oh, I get red as he goes for the dark pulse. I do take. Oh my god, that's a crit! Jesus. Okay, okay. So, so no nasty plot for me right now. Actually, the best thing that I could hope for is that you see my crowbat. You go into like. You go into Mawile and then try to get a Swords Dance up as I Heat Wave. And I'm going to show off this set really quickly. Uh, my standard set is Nasty Plot, Sludge Bomb, Heat Wave, and, and Air Slash. I switched it up just a little bit only because uh, this Crobat needs to be able to, to deal with ground types because this is a Mono Poison team. Everybody's going to want to bring their ground types. Uh, if I do get caught in a situation where I where I ha where I can switch in my Crobat, I need to be able to get a nasty plot up, get a Giga Drain off, and maybe that could act a little bit as my ground type counter. But obviously, it needs to be in the right situations. 
So this is tough. Garchomp comes in. I feel like he's just gonna Rock Tomb me, maybe? Rock, either Rock Slide or Rock Tomb? Or just go straight up for a Swords Dance. Or just go straight up for a Swords Dance. Hmm. What would you do? Yeah, you're going for Swords Dance. You're going for Swords Dance. Huh. Man, I really, I desperately want to go into Toxicroak here. Well, either way, you're not going to go for an Earthquake, so Toxicroak should be pretty safe. Toxicroak should be pretty safe. Either you go for a Swords Dance or an or a Rock Slide. You don't go for an, or a Rock Tomb. You don't go for an Earthquake. Or an Outrage. If you straight, no, you wouldn't straight up go for an Outrage. There's no need. There's no need. I'm going to go into Toxicroak. And it could be super obvious that I am Scarfed and I do have the Ice Punch, but... Oh, goes for the Dual Chop. Oh, no. Okay, we take that pretty well. Oh, don't crit, don't crit. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. So my team is decimated right now, but I am going to show off the set right now. We have Gunk Shot, Drain Punch, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. This is Scarfed, Adamant, Max Attack. And I'm just going to click Ice Punch. We're going to see what this does. We're gonna take you out, I hope. I hope. Ah, oh, it lives on one. Mm. This this was happening to me. This was happening to me a little bit during uh, team prep. And this is not good. I'm gonna look at Crobat's moves just really quick, or look at his stats really quickly. Yeah, I'm 200 speed. So there's a there's a zero percent chance that. This Garchomp outspeeds me. So Hydreigon is dealt with. This Garchomp is soon to be dealt with. And I can only assume that this last Mon is going to be one of the Steel types. If I had to guess, it's going to be the Mawile. If I had to guess, it's going to be the Mawile. If it is the Mawile, well, I, if it's either Mawile or Bisharp, you can just sucker punch me uh, until this thing is over. But, I don't know, maybe we could play some mind games. Yeah, there's the Mawile. Maybe we could play some mind games. I can Nasty Plot on the Sucker Punch. Maybe yeah, we, in, in, we can get into a few mind games. I feel like it would be just shooting myself in the foot if I just go for the Heat Wave straight out. Hmm. I, I feel like it's just silliness if I just go for a heat wave straight off the bat. I'm gonna nasty plot. I'm gonna hard predict either a swords dance or a sucker punch, but sucker punch is much more likely. I feel like we do have somewhat of a chance. I am down for playing these mind games. He doesn't go for the sucker punch though because my nasty plot goes off first and just goes for the knockoff. Oh no, all right. That's the game. I thought we had a chance, but I guess not. So realistically, I really need a Toxic Crow to take him out with that Ice Punch. And I pretty much lost the game as soon as I, he couldn't take him out. Because if he takes him out, Mawa comes in, I swap into, uh, I swap into Nita King, let him get taken out, go back into the Toxic Croak. He earthquakes and probably ends the game, but I don't know. At least gets very close to ending the game, and yeah, here here we go. That Down we go. I should have just heat waved. I mean, realistically, a heat wave would not have taken him out all the way, but it would have been really close. Well, in any case, thank you so much for watching. We upload Battle Spot every dang day of the week. We have new teams every dang week, and this is the latest team, a mono poison team. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I am once again out.